What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to episode three of the ult. Thanks. What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to episode three of the Ultimate Mini. Today, I am getting new plates. So, you guys might have noticed in a previous video that I put on the actual size plates, and I like those plates, and I'm keeping those plates, but I got something new for the front. Let's head on inside. I've got the box. I'm going to open it up, and we will see what it looks like. Cut this open. This is a box from CustomEuropeanPlates.com. I don't have a knife, so we're using scissors. Different frames and the seals, which I didn't get. There it is actual size Colorado license plate that's awesome so that goes here this goes on the car using most likely these two screw mounts right here and the factory fittings awesome Oop. sweet this is gonna look awesome see here's the thing about the front plate on the Mini Cooper it was designed for a European plate you can see where it's got the bumps down here and this just does not fit or look good. So I knew when I got these plates that this was going to be taken off very, very quickly. For reasons entirely unknown to me, my local dealership decided to use a Torx T30 bolt to hold on the front plate. No clue why, because on the back they use Phillips heads, but that's the world we live in. And then in here they use a Torx 20, I think they use even a 15 maybe? Here's a T20. Yeah, they use a T20 up here. Get rid of that. Here's the beautiful thing about the mounting plate from Custom European Plates. It lines up to just about any pre-drilled holes. Except for, apparently, the ones they use on the Mini. Dang. Huh. I'm going to need to find a way to like center this perfectly. Well, actually I don't need to worry about that because it lines up there. I'm going to have to drill fresh holes. Dang. Did not want to do that. So now we need to figure out how to mark up where we want this to go. Right? You have it in gold. Just, no, just hold this. I was just going to make like a little indent with the screw because it's a sharp screw. Um. Yeah, yes, sir. The way I know where center is, is that it lines up where it's covering the same amount with each hole. So right about there. Right there? Yep. And then check to make sure it's level. So up on that side. One on that side. Okay. Where's that level? And that. Yeah, you're you still going to have the flop it, a little bit. Right? Yeah. I don't mind. Well, I'm... Well, I'm going off this crap right here. I was just wondering, could you go... Well, I don't think that's... That's not the edge of the plate. Well, so I should go with these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is level. Set. No. Here you go. <laughs> okay. Are those marks visible? And actually push it in just a little bit. There we go. Nope, that doesn't fit, so I need a different screw that's smaller. That'll fit. So, where'd that screw go? Let's see this one. Yeah. Why are you, where are you taking the frame from? No, I was just going to hold it for you. No, it's going to go with. Oh yeah, that one works too. Because we were doing that one and then I realized I had the frame upside down. But this one works too. I'm listening to it before you. Okay. Oh, 
here. Just I got it. That's what's been pushing hard enough. Okay. Now back them both out a little bit. the exact same gap over the entire thing. Perfect. That goes like that, and then slides up from underneath, like so. And then the mounting strip wise, oh, it holds in nice. They actually designed a really cool mounting strip with this because it like locks itself in basically. And then you just have to clip it in. Oh, come on, come on. This one in the center is not wanting to lock in for some reason. Oh, I'm putting this in upside down, that's why. We're just going to completely remove this entire segment. And we're going to start from, wait, no, just move. We're going to start from right here. So they designed a really cool locking system where it basically locks itself in place with this little bottom tab. That's in there. That looks much better than the stock one. Right? That's good. The actual size mini is kind of coming to life now. I like that a lot. I got that, I got the cold air intake, and I got the exhaust. That's like phase one complete, basically. This doesn't work one-handed. This doesn't work one-handed. Nope, that's not stable. Okay, I've taped over the edge of my actual plate so that when I have to throw it up here for like parking, when I put it up there, it doesn't like completely ruin my uh, leather. Like I can just basically wedge it like that when I have to park and it looks fine. And then when I'm driving and just take it off Throw it back there. Yeah. Yep. Well, you'll probably put it somewhere. Oh, you know what? Ha ha ha. Right there. Perfect. Super in reach. And then I can just whip it out when I'm parked and put it back away when I'm not. And then, that looks amazing. Like, that's awesome. She looks sweet. Okay, to wrap up episode three, I'm just gonna run over everything I've done to the car so far. Actual size plate. Let's pop the hood. Painted, painted, cold air intake. Blackjack mirror caps, blackjack locking, light up mini floor thing, John Cooper Works exhaust, actual size plate, stickers, Instagram, follow me. Yeah, I think it all looks like it's starting to come together. And this is only the beginning. I think I got 18, 19 parts here. We're on part three, maybe four technically because of the spray paint. So yeah.
Yeah, that's, I love that. Custom Euro plates, I'll link them in the description because this is definitely worth it. So, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, goodbye. Here's their uh, logo. It's an M3, M2. Yeah.